So this new line is the result of a development on the module side and on the line side in a simultaneous engineering process to scale and to automate as much as possible the production of these modules destined for our main industrial applications, which are railway, marine, and industrial vehicles for highway and, and off-road as well. This line is, is the result of several years of, of development and incorporates uh, full automation and all inline controls so that we can reach the highest levels of quality and uh, productivity to enable us to, to grow the business with, with our customers. So now my colleagues are going to help me show you the line and show the different aspects of the line, the different process steps and the different controls that are built into the line. And um, I'm going to be helped here with uh, Guillaume Mercer, who is the head of, uh, of the technology department for, for this line, and his colleague uh, Thomas uh, Jodlowski, who has been the, the lead engineer in designing the processes and the product. So now we will go to the line with them so that they can show you the details. Thank you, Pierre. We are here in front of the first section of the line, uh, which is dedicated to cell processing. So you can see here <coughs> our Le Clanchet cells that will go and be formed to fit into our module. So this part of the line is composed of three robots that will drive the cells from one station to the other uh, and go through vision system uh, quality check, we'll go through electrical check of the cells, then we will form the tabs of the cells and also shape the side of the cells to fit into the module. Um, this section uh, will process one cell uh, every nine seconds, which will, uh, which will go for an output of the line of one module every five minutes. This gives a total output of the line uh, during a year of approximately half a gigawatt hour. I will now uh, present you more in detail uh, with my colleague Tom all the processes and the different uh, activities that are on this section of the line. Thank you, Guillaume. So now let's get inside and take a closer look at automated stations. We, now, we are now in the first block of automated stations next to the vision system. In here, we are checking the integrality of cells coming here from Wirtech, Germany, for the potential damages that can occur during transportation. So we are searching for scratches and possible indentations. If the cell is considered as good, it continues further down in the line. If the system analyzes it and considers it as a bad one, the cell is rejected through this extraction trolley, which is just here behind. This is next station that we use to assure the highest quality of our modules. In here, cells undergo electrical tests to verify again that there is no any internal damage happening during transport of the cells. We are reading the open circuit voltage and internal resistance. These values are then verified against the values available in the database in Wirstedt, which comes directly from the production. If we see a discrepancy between the measured values here and in Wirstedt, we consider the cells as not good. Okay, now we have seen the first part of the production line where we have been preparing the cells to be stacked into modules. The second part of the line is where we're actually going to do the stacking, and we're going to bring you here now to show you how the cells will then be brought into the modules and stacked uh, automatically and welded. So this is going to be the entrance of the, the second section of the line. And here we are going to start putting the cells together and we'll do the welding, the final uh, assembly, and the quality control to have at the end of this sector a finished module that comes out uh, completed and tested, ready to be shipped. So we are now in front of the second part uh, of the line, where here the automation will take the cells that have been put into frames, stack these cells together to form a module, and the module itself will be attached and form one single piece. Uh, after that, we will electrically connect the cells together using a laser welding system. Once this is done, the module will be ready to go out of this automated part where we will assemble the electronics 
put the covers on and do the final test of the module. Now, let's go and look inside the laser welding station. Laser welding is the process that we are using to connect cells to the bus bars of the module. This is what assures the electrical functions of, of the module. You will use the laser welding to assure the lowest possible internal resistance of the modules itself. It's very important to mention that a part of the welding operation, the system is coupled with the quality system, which is based on thermal emission and coupled with artificial intelligence. So if the system considers a weld stitch not good, we can perform directly right after another attempt. And we finally arrive to the very last station of the automated assembly line. This is the end of line tester. This is where a complete module arrives, which is ready for being tested. Such parameters as version software, type of electronics, internal resistance, or the electric strength are tested. Once this test is passed, uh, the module is considered as good and can be shipped to the customers. Another very important thing to mention is that all the databases of the line are integrated all together. So knowing the serial number of the module, we can track down each cell inside, including the components with which the cell was made in Wirstedt in Germany. Thank you, Tom, for having presenting us the different station on the line. As you can see here now, out of the line is the final product, which is the uh, new module from Le Clanchet, which is composed of the different components that you can see here. First of all, the most important one is the cells. The cells are put into cell frames to form this uh, sub-assembly that is out of the first section of the line. This Sub-assemblies are stacked together to form the module. And we are putting the electronic on the side, which is embedded in a casing like this one for easy maintenance and easy uh, assembling. So this module is um, fully compliant to the market standards. We are controlling the temperatures of each cell and also the voltage of each cell. So uh, this is compliant with the safety standards. This module is the first brick for uh, going into either packs or different systems uh, for a market like marines, ground transportation, buses, trucks, railway, and different, all the application that Le, Cl Le Clanchet addresses. So we are looking forward to launch the production and I hope uh, this presentation uh, was interesting for you. And thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>